Welcome to this tutorial on the generation of alternating voltage. In this video, we will explore how alternating current, or AC, is generated using a simple AC generator. We'll break down each component and explain how they work together to produce AC voltage. Let's start with the basic components of an AC generator. An AC generator consists of the following main parts. 1. A magnet. This creates a magnetic field. In our diagram, we have a magnet with two poles, north and south. 2. A coil. This is a wire wound into a loop or multiple loops. It is placed in the magnetic field created by the magnet. 3. Slip rings. These are metal rings connected to the ends of the coil. They rotate with the coil. 4. Graphite brushes. These are stationary conductors that press against the slip rings, allowing electrical contact without hindering the rotation of the coil. Together, these components make up the AC generator. Now, let's understand the role of the magnetic field in the coil. When the coil rotates within the magnetic field between the north and south poles of the magnet, it cuts through the magnetic lines of force. This action is crucial for generating electricity. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, Whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux through a coil, an electromotive force, or EMF, is induced in the coil. This is the fundamental principle behind the operation of an AC generator. As the coil rotates, the magnetic flux through it changes continuously. Imagine the coil starting from a position where it is parallel to the magnetic field lines. In this position, the flux linkage is zero, and thus, no EMF is induced. As the coil starts rotating, it cuts through more and more magnetic field lines, increasing the flux linkage. This change in flux linkage induces an EMF in the coil. The direction of this induced EMF depends on the direction of the rotation of the coil. When the coil rotates in one direction, the EMF induced has a particular polarity. When it rotates in the opposite direction, the EMF has the opposite polarity. The ends of the rotating coil are connected to slip rings. Slip rings are circular metal rings that rotate alone with the coil. Graphite brushes are fixed conductors that press against the slip rings. The purpose of the slip rings and brushes is to maintain an electrical connection between the rotating coil and the external circuit without tangling the wires. As the coil rotates and the EMF is induced, the slip rings transfer this induced voltage to the brushes, which are connected to an external circuit, allowing the current to flow. The output voltage of an AC generator is not constant, it varies with time. This variation forms a wave-like pattern known as a sine wave or sinusoidal wave. Let's look at the waveform in our diagram, labeled induced EMF in coil. This sine wave represents how the induced EMF varies as the coil rotates. At zero degrees, when the coil is parallel to the magnetic field, the induced EMF is zero. As the coil rotates to 90 degrees, it cuts through the magnetic field lines most effectively, and the induced EMF reaches its maximum positive value. At 180 degrees, the coil is again parallel to the magnetic field, and the EMF drops to zero. At 270 degrees, the coil cuts through the field lines in the opposite direction, and the EMF reaches its maximum negative value. Finally, at 360 degrees, the coil completes one full rotation, and the EMF returns to zero ready to start the next cycle. Let's analyze the waveform in more detail. The horizontal axis of the waveform graph represents time or the angle of rotation of the coil, while the vertical axis represents the magnitude of the induced EMF. At zero degrees, the coil is parallel to the magnetic field, resulting in zero EMF. From zero to 90 degrees, the coil rotates, and the EMF increases to its maximum positive value. At 90 degrees, the coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field, and the EMF is at its peak. From 90 to 180 degrees, the EMF decreases back to zero as the coil returns to a parallel position. From 180 to 270 degrees, the coil continues to rotate, and the EMF now reaches its maximum negative value as it cuts through the magnetic field in the opposite direction. From 270 to 360 degrees, the EMF rises back to zero, completing one full cycle. This continuous change in EMF creates an alternating voltage that changes direction periodically. 
the generated alternating EMF can be used to power electrical devices. In our diagram, we see a resistor labeled RL connected in the circuit. This resistor represents any electrical load that the generator might power, such as a light bulb or an appliance. When the alternating EMF is applied to the load, it drives an alternating current, or AC, through the circuit. This current also varies sinusoidally, following the same waveform pattern as the induced EMF. The alternating current delivers power to the load, enabling it to function. In summary, an AC generator works by rotating a coil within a magnetic field, inducing an alternating EMF in the coil. This EMF produces an alternating voltage, which can drive an alternating current through a connected load. The continuous rotation of the coil ensures a steady generation of AC voltage, which is fundamental to the operation of many electrical devices and power systems. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the generation of alternating voltage. We hope you now have a better understanding of how AC generators work. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more educational videos.